Hello, I'm Dr. Heidi Horsley, Executive Director for the Open to Hope Foundation and host of the radio show he Healing the Grieving Heart. And I'm here today with Dr. Donna Sherman, who is the Executive Director of the Dougie Center. Our topic today is families dealing with loss. Donna, can you tell us a little about the Dougie Center? Yes, the Dougie Center is a grief support program for children and their parents or adult caregivers who've experienced a loss through death. We start with children as young as three and work with uh, teens and young adults as well as their parents. Okay, and what do you see as the biggest problems families face after a loss? Well, in addition to, of course, grieving the person who died, and we often say that they're loved ones, but unfortunately sometimes there's unresolved business and, and other complex issues. I really think one of the biggest problems families face is how other people treat them. Mm. You know, they're often, they get the, the tuna casseroles and they get the, mm -hmm. you know, it, oh, the, in the first few days after a service and then everyone disappears and they're left with their lives completely shattered while the rest of the world is going on. So it's the lack of support that's so difficult. Yes, yes. Okay. I think with support, families do a lot better mm -hmm. than without that kind of support. And that's why I think the Dougie Center is such a valuable resource, because children can go there and just by being around other kids that have been shared the same experience, realize we're not alone. Exactly, and that's one of the most important aspects of our program, and there are many other programs throughout the country that are working with children and families in a support grief model. And the issue for a lot of kids, whether they're three or 13 or 23, is not feeling alone. Mm -hmm. Feeling, I'm not the only person this has ever happened to. There are other people here who've gotten through it, not over it, mm -hmm. but through it. How can we help each other and normalizing some of the things that they're experiencing, including physical symptoms, mm -hmm. stomach aches. You know, when a, a child can say, oh, that happened to you too? I'm not crazy, mm -hmm. I'm okay, I'm going to be okay. This is a normal part of the experience? Exactly, there's just a tremendous power in being understood, mm -hmm. in being able to tell your story, and not just tell your story, but feel that someone understands your story, that you're not alone, and that you can get through this. Mm -hmm. These are very, that, very powerful with children. That your life is changed forever and acknowledge mm -hmm. that and yet you are going to be able to get through it. Mm -hmm. So I understand you've written a book about parent death. Could you tell us a little about that? Yes, the book is called Never the Same, Coming to Terms with the Death of Parent. Mm -hmm. And it's basically really written for people who are now adults who had a parent die in their childhood. And it kind of looks at the long-term effect of a parent death. When I was interviewing people for the book, whether the death had occurred two years ago, 20 years ago, some 40 years ago, mm -hmm. the phrase that kept coming up from every single person somehow in those interviews was, after that, things were never the same. Mm -hmm. Very interesting, so you're, their, their lives were almost like different chapters. Yeah, it's and before and after. Yeah. You know, Absolutely. before and after. Mm -hmm. And I will say that all of those changes don't have to be negative ones. Mm -hmm. You know, we hear a lot about post-traumatic stress. We don't hear enough about post-traumatic growth. And Good that we point. can be resilient. It doesn't happen in a vacuum. Mm -hmm. But that we can learn and grow from, but it takes support. It takes help, not just from the family, but from outside of the family as well. I think that is valuable and invaluable information we can grow and have post-traumatic growth after loss and find hope again. Donna Sherman, thank you so much for all the work you do with children and for all the work you do all over the country to help people start bereavement centers and find hope again. Thank you. If I ever could